This training tip of the week will help you get much better quality out of your training with the goal of being much more productive out on the table. This training tip of the week focuses on timing the ball. Timing the ball is the main factor that will determine how well your shot will be played and understanding how to take action to the ball is paramount. Now, let's look at the dynamic of timing. When the ball is traveling to you is when you should be taking your backswing. And when the ball hits the table is when you should be at the end of your backswing. At this point, the middle of your stroke should make contact with the top of the bounce. When you focus on this, your shots will be much more fine-tuned and you'll find you're making less unforced errors. The concept of the power pocket is how you line up your shot and this will determine how much power you can put into the ball. So when the ball hits the table, make sure you lined up behind it. If your racket is here, you're gonna end up cramping the stroke. And if your racket is too close to you and the ball is here, you're gonna end up extending your arm, cramping the stroke. Make sure you go through a training block of at least four to six weeks where you're going through all the shots in your game and getting acclimated to how the timing works for the hit. For the loop, and when the ball is short. And the ultimate goal is to not think about timing because you got bigger issues to deal with and that is dominating your opponent. This is an overlooked and misunderstood aspect of table tennis. And the more often you focus on it, the more efficient player you'll become. And the byproduct of mastering timing is being able to identify when your opponent is having issues with timing the ball. And this is when you strategically downshift and let your opponent make the unforced errors. Take these tips, work on them, and they'll help you play and compete better. My name is Brian Pace, and I see you on the table.